welcome back to Alice Talks Football and Manchester United have signed Donny van der Beek from Ajax and today's video is talking about Donny van der Beek. Why is the perfect signing for Manchester United? How Manchester United can line up with Donny van der Beek? What will Donny van der Beek's role be at Manchester United? How will he fit in at Manchester United? What kind of positions does he play? And can Donny van der Beek, Pogba and Bruno Fernandes all play together? I'm going to be answering all those questions in this video. I actually did a video like this like three months ago where I said I think Donny van der Beek would come to Manchester United and talk about his role and how Manchester United would line up with Donny van der Beek. But since then we've played games, we've established our strongest lineup, we've learned more about the Manchester United squad in the last three months than I think in the six months prior to that. So in today's video I'm going to be giving a refreshed update on that video talking about what van der Beek's role is, why he's a perfect signing for Manchester United, how they can line up with van der Beek and more. So if you're happy that Donny van der Beek has joined Manchester United, please hit that like button and subscribe down below if you're new, share this video, let's get straight into it. We're just waiting for the medical and the announcement, but Donny van der Beek is a Manchester United player. And I'm going to start with what kind of player is Donny van der Beek? What positions does he play? Now Donny van der Beek is a box-to-box -box midfielder, but he's more of a creative box-to-box -box midfielder. He mostly plays in the box-to-box -box role, but he can play in the number 10 role. And he's even played as a defensive midfielder, but he's primarily a creative, more box-to-box -box midfielder, more if I'm going to compare him to any Manchester United player, I'm going to compare him to Paul Pogba. He only turned 23 in April, so Donny van der Beek is quite young. So for the whole of the season coming, he's going to be 23. Next season, he'll be 24. The following season, he'll be 25 and hit his prime. So here's Donny van der Beek's career stats in terms of what position does he play. So as a central midfielder, box to box, he's played 141 games where he's got 67 goal contributions from central midfield in 141 games. He's basically got a goal contribution every other game from midfield. Bear in mind, like some of these games, he was 18, 19, 20 when he was playing. He's also played 81 games as a number 10 and attacking midfielder, again with 26 goals and 22 assists in 81 games. So pretty much a goal contribution every other game. He's even played a game at left midfield and he's played 26 games as a defensive midfielder. So he can play all along the midfield, kind of like Paul Pogba. You can play Paul Pogba in the 10 role. He's preferably a box-to-box. -box. He plays most as a box-to-box, -box, but he can also play as a defensive midfielder. Obvi obviously, Dorney Valerie isn't as physical as Paul Pogba, but I'm just saying if I had to compare him to any Manchester United player, I compare him most to Paul Pogba. But can he play with Paul Pogba? Yes, but what will his role be? Now, before I talk about how Manchester United can line up with Donny van der Beek and the different ways we can line up in the midfield, I want to talk about what Donny van der Beek's role will be. Now, towards the end of the season, one thing that we learn about Manchester United is we need bench depth. We have our strongest starting eleven. you know, the one we normally play, Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof, Wan-Bissaka, De Gea, Matic, Pogba, Bruno, Greenwood, Rashford, Martial. That's our strongest eleven, yeah. But... We're, we have no one on the bench that's going to come and really push that 11 and really improve it. I mean, Fred and Matic, you know, Fred I think has been doing well in the CDM role, but one thing we've learned this season is we need bench depth because if we're one all in a game or one nil down, Oli t takes like the 89th minute to make his subs because no one that's going to come off the bench is going to improve us, you know. We can't take Pogba or Bruno off because McTominay is not Pogba, Lingard is not Bruno. And basically what Donny van der Beek adds is, he might not be better than Bruno and Pogba, but he's significantly better than Pereira and Lingard. And he gives us something called bench step, a player that's good enough for the first team that kind of sits on the bench. Like David Silva doesn't always play because Kevin De Bruyne is playing, but David Silva is a great player. And because we're in the Champions League next season, there's going to be times where, you know, we need to rest Bruno or Pogba, but, you know, we can't play them three times a week or Bruno's picked up an injury and we don't want to play Pereira in that role. So we have a player like Van der Beek that can play in that Pogba role, but he can also play in that Bruno role. So when we need to rest a player, when a player's injured, Van der Beek will go in there and the drop-off won't be significant because the drop-off from Bruno to Pereira is very noticeable, but the drop-off from Bruno to Van der Beek is not particularly noticeable. And will Van der Beek be a bench player? No, because this season, Pereira, Lingard, and Mata combined have over 30 games. So yes, he won't be playing as every game week in, week out. He's probably not as important player as Pogba and Bruno Fernandes. Van der Beek will be playing those games that Mata, Lingard and Pereira would normally play. So he'd probably pick up a good 30 games. There's bound to be some injuries. There's bound to be games where he goes, where Solskjaer goes, oh, you know, Van der Beek will work better than Pogba in this game. So he's not a bench player, but he's a player that's good enough for the starting eleven 
but he's going to give competition to Pogba and Bruno and he's just going to add quality. You know Manchester City, Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden, Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva can all play in that same position. Whereas we have Bruno Fernandes, Lingard and Pereira and Mata that can play in that same position. That's the difference between winning the title and being a top four side. Because we need another midfielder, we need another winger and we need another centre back. And we've got that extra midfielder that we need. Now I'm going to talk about how Manchester United can line up with Donny van der Beek. Now this is our strongest lineup. And that's our strongest midfield, I'd say Matic, Pogba, Bruno. We obviously know that Fred's been doing quite a good job in that Matic role, but McTominay hasn't quite been doing it in the Matic role. It's not as good as Pogba, and obviously Lingard and Pereira have not been doing it in the Bruno role. Whereas Van der Beek, he can play in that Pogba role there, in the team, and he can also play in that Bruno Fernandes role. You know, Donny van der Beek's played multiple games as a number 10, as a box-to-box -box midfielder. You know, his creativity, his link-up play, he's a, he's a very good player in terms of getting into the right position at the right time. We've seen a lot of him in the Champions League and all of a sudden he's right there forward on the pitch tapping in a goal. Like he's got lots of um, player intelligence for a player of his age. You know, he's very aware. He's done it in the Champions League against teams like Tottenham and Chelsea. So we know that he is good enough to step up against stronger opponents. If Bruno Fernandes gets injured, there we go. We slap Van der Beek in that Bruno role. He's in the midfield with Pogba and Matic or even Fred if you want to play Fred there. Or, you know, if... if Bruno Fernandes get injured, we could have Pogba playing in that Bruno role, Van der Beek deeper, and Matic or Fred below. If Pogba gets injured, then it's just Bruno, Van der Beek, Matic, or even Van der Beek, Bruno, Matic. Because obviously the thing about Bruno, Van der Beek, and Paul Pogba is they can all play in that number eight role. They can all play box to box or number ten. But we do know that Bruno is best at number ten. We do know that Pogba is best as box to box. But is there a way that Van der Beek? Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes can all play together in the same team. Yes, there's multiple ways they can all play together. If Oli decided to play the, the diamond 4-1-2-1-2 formation, we could have a midfield four of Bruno, Pogba, Van der Beek and, and probably Matic holding. You know, we've played that formation before. It's not my preferred formation, but we could have all four of our strongest midfielders in that formation. The other thing about Bruno Fernandes and Donny van der Beek is they're quite good defensively. They're not CDMs. They're not out-and-out -out CDMs. You'd never put... Pogba in that Matic role or Van der Beek in that Matic role but they can play as deep line playmakers together so if we play two midfielders deep they don't have to be out and out CDMs you know McTominay and Fred weren't out and out CDMs but we played them together in the 4-2-3-1 formation and you know if we're playing a team that's going to sit back deep against us and not attack us you know playing two box-to-box -box midfielders in a deep line playmaker role is okay because you know Bruno Fernandes and Donny van der Beek have good defensive responsibilities but they're both creative players so they can sit in a more deeper role they still sort of be box-to-box -box midfielders because they're playing together in the same formation playing the 4-2-3-1 they'd be playing together but you know they'll be unlocking the midfield from deep doing a deep line playmaker role and I think if we're going to play poorer teams that are going to sit back really deep against us you know, that's when you can play sort of two box box midfielders in deeper roles. You know, Ruben Nevers is kind of a box box midfielder, but he plays a sort of a, a CDM-ish role for Wolves, where he's a deep line playmaker. You know, at the beginning of the season, Pogba and McTominay would sit deep together, and I wouldn't say Pogba or McTominay were CDMs, but they kind of work together because there's two CDMs, so it's not like you're a shield for the defence. You're just two box to box midfielders playing a little bit deeper and providing play from deep and they both can play in that sort of deep line playmaker role. So yes, Dorney Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba can all play together in the same midfield. But I think the key thing about Dorney Van der Beek is bench depth. He's added more quality to the squad. He's good enough to get in the starting eleven, but he's also much better than Lingard, Matic and Pereira. If you're really happy that Dorney Van der Beek has joined Manchester United, you've got to hit that like button. Let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video and I'll see you next time.